Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, you know, come on out. You already know this. I'm back with another video, okay? This video is going to be about my 24 hour foundation. Lately, I've been learning a lot of tricks and tips from TikTok, so I decided to incorporate those into my makeup routine as I go. So, why not come in here and tell you guys what I learned so you know we can share some secrets? This is possibly going to be my everyday makeup look. I feel it. If you guys want to see how I get this lovely 24 hour foundation look, then watch the video, sis. Don't forget to wear your mask, be safe, and happy new year, guys. Come on, it's 2021. We're going to be the greatest version of ourselves, okay? Do not get discouraged. Don't do that. I don't want to hear it. I don't want nobody complaining. We're going to be great this year, okay? I don't want to hear no excuses, especially for myself. <laughs> I'm going to get into the video, and I will see you in my next one. I already parted my face, put this all over my face, and then I went back in with this Makeup Forever mattifying base, and I applied this into my T-zone. And of course, I already had to do my eyebrows because they just need their own show, and I have to just take my time with those babies, okay? And guys, I got freshly threaded brows for the new year. You know I cannot go into the new year with some cave woman brows. That's just not cute. And I even got my lip threaded too because I was growing like a third eyebrow, oof. No. I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how I get my 24 hour foundation to last all day. No smudging, no fudging, none of this is. It's gonna stay on all day. I apply some foundation on mixing palette and I did clean this palette with 91% alcohol because I don't want any germs onto my face. That's just, that's a no no. We don't want that. I mix one drop of this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop and I mix two pumps of this Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier setting powder and can you guys see that? The foundation's right there? Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna add a little bit of powder, add about that much, and I'm just gonna drop that right on to my mixing palette. All right, so I'm gonna be telling you guys the story a couple days ago about my hair and everything, okay? So I'm gonna tell y'all what's been going on. If you guys can hear that, I, I apologize. But uh, yeah, so, you know, I want to get my hair done because I don't want to come into the new year looking all raggedy and whatnot. The girl that usually does my hair, she wasn't there. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. I was just, you know, someone else could do my hair. I don't mind. Because all I was getting, all I wanted was a ponytail. So I wait for about 30 minutes because they have to wait for another stylist to come in. So she calls my name because she's about to do my hair or whatever. And then so she's like, oh, what are you having done? Da, da, da. I was like, oh, I just want a ponytail you know with a long braid she's like you want a slick back ponytail and I was like yeah she's like oh I don't do that and I swear she said it with that exact tone in her voice then I actually thought about it I'm like maybe she doesn't want to do my hair because she doesn't like working with the natural hair I guess she thinks it's too much or it's you know it's too much to manage or something like that but little did she know that I hot combed my hair the night before. So it was basically slick back, sis. I did most of the work for you. All you had to do was add a little hairspray and throw it in a freaking ponytail. But I was like, you know what? It's cool. Let me just get my money back and then I'm gonna leave. And she had the nerve to tell me, oh, you can go next door. I'm like, you know what? It's cool. So after I left and I'm driving home or whatever, I'm like, you know what? This probably happened for a reason. God is trying to get me to save my money because they were going to charge me $45 anyway. And he know I ain't got no job to pay for that. Even though I was going to use my credit card anyway. But still, you know. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go home and I'm going to do this myself. It's not that I can't do it. I just didn't want to do it because I didn't want to deal with my own hair. So I took my butt home and i pulled up youtube i was like i'm just gonna watch this video and i'm just gonna you know i'm just gonna do my hair it's cool and then it took me a while like i went through a couple trial and errors i'm not gonna lie it took me a good probably like two days to actually get this ponytail like done right yeah he was just like you know what i'm gonna take the wheel and i'm gonna help you do this hairstyle okay we gonna get through this together and guys, I never do my hair. I can never ever do my hair. I hate it with a passion. Like, you can't pay me enough to do my hair. Like, I hate washing my hair. Never, ever, ever wore my natural hair out, guys. 
And if I did, it was straightened or relaxed, but that was years ago. I haven't gotten a relaxer in about me probably like four years maybe. And I'm so mad because three years ago, I cut my hair off. I don't know what the heck was going on with me, but I cut my hair off and I did finger waves. So imagine how short my hair was. My hair was like this short. So in about three years, my hair is like right past my shoulders. So I think that's really good. I see like, I think that's a really good improvement on my end. It's not as long as I want it to be, but it's longer than from when I freaking cut it. I just really didn't want to do it. I didn't feel like doing all the work. You know, I just didn't have the patience. I just really didn't have the patience to do my hair. But you know, that's one thing I have to learn in 2020 is having patience. But you know, we gonna work on that, okay? We gonna work on that. All right, I'm gonna set this lovely concealer with this Laura Mercier setting powder. Guys, like look at this. This is just foundation. I don't have any eyeshadow on or anything yet. Yeah, guys. That was like my hair situation, my hair situation. I'm trying to put hair and situation together, but clearly it's not working out. Yeah, guys, don't give up. Just keep, just keep pushing. Keep pushing because I really almost sat there and paid forty dollars to get my hair done when I did it for ten dollars, basically, because you know all I had to do was buy the hair. But you know it was fine. It's cool. We made it. I'm gonna go in with this Pro Filter um, Setting Powder by Rihanna. But yeah, this gives me like a slightly like it adds color to my eyes without me adding anything. But yeah, back to the girl at Wawa. I'm gonna tell y'all about her too while I'm here. Okay, so I went to Wawa the other day and was the other day? It was probably like last week, I don't know. Anyway, I went to Wawa and I wanted her to make me a sandwich and every time I go to this Wawa, they never put turkey on that sandwich. There's actually three girls. The girl that's making my sandwich and two other girls. I'm gonna go over my face with this beauty blender just to set in all of this powder and everything. So yeah, the two girls were talking about the girl that <laughs> didn't show up for work while the girl is making my sandwich. So I'm trying to get the girl's attention to tell her, you know, hold up, don't put the turkey on the sandwich. All three of them having a conversation about the girl who ain't at work yet. <laughs> so I'm standing there and I'm trying to get her attention. You know you can't hear with these masks on, so. I finally got her attention, but it was already too late. She put the turkey on it, but she didn't close it up. So I told her, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Can you take the turkey off? And guys, she took the turkey like this. Oh my gosh. I need, I feel like I need to show you. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys like this. She took the turkey and she folded it up and threw it in the trash, just like that. Like threw it, like it was disgusting. Like she didn't want it near her. <sighs> I'm screaming on the inside because I'm like, and if you weren't running your mouth to your coworkers about the girl that is not at work, then maybe you would have heard me when I said, I don't want turkey on my sandwich. Every time I go to somebody's food establishment, somebody always got to say something to me. So I went to Sonic, right? I wanted to add something to my order. I wanted to add, I got to the window and I ordered all my food or whatever. And then I was like, ooh, you know what? Let me get an orange juice, cause it's like breakfast. So I get to the window and I'm, and I'm like, oh, ooh, look at that. I know that's not the lighting. That's like, that's the, that's the blush, sis. That's the blush. So yeah, I get to the window at Sonic and I'm like, oh, can I just add orange juice? Like a small orange juice or whatever? And this girl had the nerve to tell me, oh, you can't add anything to your order. We don't do add-ons. I'm just like, what? So you mean to tell me I can't add something to my order? I was like, you know what, it's cool. My food is either wrong or they forget something. Like I went to Taco Bell one day and I got a freaking, I got a chicken chalupa. Tell me how I get back to the house and what's missing off my chalupa? The damn chicken. And I'm just like, really, really? I'm gonna go in with this highlighter by Luna. This is in the shade Calypso. This reminds me of like a unicorn. I don't know why, but it has like, it's like a purple tint. I'm gonna go in with my lip liner. This is the NYX lip liner in the shade Toast. Look at that, it's just, like I can probably just wear this lip liner and that'll be it. 
yeah so i went to the beauty supply store i got this coconut oil lip gloss and i've been using it lately and my lips are just so they're so hydrated and soft and smooth mm. let's apply a little bit of this mm. and it smells good too oh. well hello it's freaking coconut oil Duh. this is the finished look how do you guys like it mm. i think this is so cute it feels very nice and light let me know what you think of the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that subscribe button in the corner right there if you have any suggestions comments or advice you want to throw at me then let me know because i need all the feedback i can get lately i've been taking criticism very well i feel like i need criticism to grow and just be a better artist and everything but yeah all right so i'm gonna go i'll see you in my next video okay so be safe guys